Welcome to the Maximo Application Suite video series brought to you by Maven Asset Management. This is the fourth of our series where we're exploring Maximo Manage KPI functionality. So let's take a look at the KPI viewer application intended for all end users of Maximo. Okay, here I am in the Maximo Application Suite Maximo Manage. My user is signed in and he has access to multiple start centers as I can see across the top here, but let's focus on this start center of the role as an operations manager. In our previous demonstrations, we've showed how we can use KPI template and KPI manager to create and maintain our KPIs. But now in this case, let's take on that role where the user is really wanting to analyze this. I've added to my start center the KPI we created, our missing data K KPI assets without failure class. And what this KPI is, is showing or highlighting to us, the number of assets that don't have failure codes associated to them. If an asset doesn't have a failure code associated to it, we can't co collect that critical data, the problem, the cause, the remedy, so we can move forward with our asset management journey into additional products like asset health and asset predict, so we can actually start predicting those failures. But setting all that aside, let's take a deeper look here. So my particular KPI, this gives me my last run date. This is the full KPI description. In this case, I'm only looking at my priority one assets that don't have this information. I can look on the far right-hand side. I can see what my actual value is that was last calculated. I have 43 priority one assets that don't have this, val excuse me, don't have the information failure class information. My target is 25, my variance is 18. And I can update it to have it recalculated at any time. But again, as I noted, I want to understand more about this as that user. So I'm gonna access this KPI viewer functionality. And now let me come over here. I'm gonna look at that priority one asset. Oh, this is really interesting. So as an end user, I'm gonna, scroll that down a little bit so you can see exactly what we're looking at. Here's my KPI name. That's the description we saw in the Star Center. It's associated with the asset application. But look at this, how interesting this is. This gives me that additional information. More definition. Let me scroll down. It says it's made up of three factors. What the asset status is. The failure code isn't listed. My asset priority is one. Great. Why is this important? It gives me the information as the end user why that is. And then lastly, what my KPI's goals are, right? Sharing that goal information with users so they can gather that critical information. Well, another thing that I might want to do is I want to communicate with someone. Well, you know, how do we collaborate on these KPIs? We seem to do all of this through meetings or chat or whatever, but if I want to retain that information in Maximo, I can come in here and create a, um, uh, a communication. Sorry, lost the word. So to do that, create communication. Um, I'm going to do this to Wilson. He is my default Maximo admin. Maybe he knows the answer. And I need more information on KPI. So one of the things I always do for first here, let's make this so we can make it legible. Um, hey, we were in a meeting discussing this particular KPI. And we would like to know more about why an asset status of broken is included in this KPI value calculation. So I, I, I'm questioning, right? It doesn't make sense to me, maybe as a user or whatever it might have been in the meeting, as we noted, and they want that information. So that is now associated to the KPI. People can review it. Maybe they do need to make a change to that KPI SQL. So in that case, they could go back to the KPI template application that we had looked at previously. If I go back to my recent apps, here's our KPI. And if we needed to make a change to that, which is 1017, I could come in here, make a change to my SQL, maybe take out the broken functionality, 
regenerate those KPIs so the SQL is updated, and now we have a KPI that everyone agrees to and everyone understands. So highlighting again, lots of great functionality that I've just covered at a very top level on KPI template, KPI manager, KPI viewer, intended to give your users access to both create, modify, manage, collaborate, and visualize Maximo critical KPI functionality. So thank you very much for your time.